The other big priority that I'm focusing on is organization building. And this is uh, just based on the fact that the reality that we realize now is we probably need to double the team size across some really key uh, parts of the organization and even create new parts of the organization. Some you've heard about over, over the years and months that we've been talking about that we know we need like dev evangelism, others that you know, we're just now, as we're looking at how other organizations in the space are operating, we realize, wow, we could use a little bit of that too. And others just you know, being consistent with um, proper um, software development as organizations grow, we know we need some things like QA testing. All right, so just to say now what we're doing is we are circling back and we are being a little bit more aggressive on just opening up positions. We need to expand the capacity of our HR um, organization so that we can uh, successfully uh, find, attract, screen, and onboard, and then train people as they come into the organization. So this is really like a, a big focus. And I can talk about some of the areas that we are looking to hire, and then you can see some of the roles already open that we've been trying to, to attract some people into and others uh, are yet to open, but just pay attention you'll, and you'll see them come live. So some you've heard of, you know we're expanding some of our business functions like the marketing team. So the marketing team uh, just brought on some content creation talent and we know we need to expand further. So as an ecosystem, like every day when I, I open up my crypto panic and I'm just scrolling through the, the feed, I'm not seeing a lot of Horizon news. This will change. This will change significantly as we open up the ecosystem, as we deliver our foundational technology. But in advance of, of that, we know we need to beef up our team so that we have just a core kind of content creation machine that then obviously has other layers around that, like our, um, our Horizon Evangelist program, uh, other partners, um, just PR partners, marketing firm partners influencers, and it's kind of like an onion you can peel back and we know that we need many layers of it. So now we're just working through the, the mechanics of who are we looking to hire? Why are we looking to hire them? How are they gonna fit into the team? How do we spin them up quickly, train them? What per personas are we looking for? It gets a little complicated when you start thinking big picture. And by picture, big picture, the other, the other you know, organization within an organization we need to create here is the dev evangelism team. This is something that we want to you know, attract top talent and get, get this team in place now so they can be trained and, and just get them in the weeds in, into the trenches, I would say immediately on creating uh, developer documentation, uh, tutorials, videos, and just make sure that they're smoothing the path so that when we actually deliver Zendu, PGD, Lattice, and other releases on top of that, we have as smooth of, of a kind of entry, like on ramp into the ecosystem as possible. And we have a team there that is actively promoting it and a team there that people can look to, go to for leadership on being able to, you know, come in and do productive things right away. Uh, we we uh, know we need a bunch more Java devs. We have an SDK that's written in Java and applications are gonna be written in Java. We need Java devs. We're trying to hire, we've been hiring, we've been doing that successfully, but it's just one of these things that's probably going to be an open item indefinitely, right? Um, we are a, a zero knowledge focused project. So our organization has some of the top uh, ZK talent in the industry. And this is something we know we need to beef up significantly because this is our bread and butter. And just to motivate this, um, so Polygon, here, here's just a quote from Polygon. Uh, Polygon, another project in our industry, for those that don't know, check it out. It's, it's you know, we need to learn from others that are out there and, and see what they're doing. But they say Polygon has further committed $1 billion from its treasury to ZK-based solutions. We're considering Z we consider ZK cryptography the single most important strategic resource for blockchain scaling and infrastructure development. And we have a clear goal of becoming the leading force and contributor in this field in years to come. Well, so do we. We, we agree with them and we already are. Uh, you know, one of the top uh, organizations in, in the industry with this technology and we are only beefing that up. So we know we need to hire more cryptographers, more cryptographic engineers, and really uh, focus on scale here because this has thus far been a very niche area. And we know that if this is going to be a key component of the industry at large, we, we need to think scale, not just adding kind of like linearly, but think yeah, scale. How do we add tools? How do we add people? They can create tools and processes that we can uh, unleash other developers to come in here and build using, using these tools. Uh, we need more DevOps. Poor Chronic and Luigi have been carrying uh, too much of the load for too long. 
Uh, so we, we are also going to be beefing up DevOps. We now, as an organization, uh, hit a level of maturity where, yeah, sure, it would have been nice to have some QA testing you know, pre previously. And we've been doing this in different ways, like integrated directly into our team. But now what I want to do is I, I want to explore the idea of setting up a dedicated QA testing team itself so that we could do more formal testing just in everything that we do. Right, this needs to be baked in from the very start into as soon as we consider a design for some project or, or product, we need to bake in into the baseline for that development or QA testing plan. Um, BD team is looking to expand and, and bring in some key management um, personnel as well, looking uh, picking that off with a key leadership position uh, for Dean's team. And uh, this is one area that we haven't really been going to a lot of weeds with yet, but we're thinking organizationally it makes a lot of sense because other other projects do it and they, they call it different things across the industry and we have elements of it piecemeal, but we haven't really rolled it out uh, in a coherent program thus far. Not saying others have either, but what we're thinking is to be truly effective, we want a dedicated ecosystem growth team. Something that can you know, really, from an umbrella, like overarching perspective, manage and coordinate a bunch of different programs that are really important. Things like our uh, you know, Zen Ventures initiative that we're talking about, bringing this consortium of different VCs into the ecosystem, uh, a non, say like non-business oriented grant program. So maybe may uh, grants for just base uh, R&D, right, into the ecosystem. Um, things like um, uh, coordinating activities with our dev evangelist team, and just making sure that we increase the capacity of the organization and the ecosystem to deploy resources at scale. 